The purpose of this section is to familiarize you with some basics about simple machines as well as to take a closer look at levers. Before we can start talking about the simple machines, we need to first define what a machine is. A machine is used to transfer energy from one place to another. It can allow work to be done much more easily than otherwise possible. In this picture, we have an example of a Rube Goldberg machine. Rube Goldberg machines are purposely over-engineered to perform simple tasks. Specifically, this Rube Goldberg machine needs over eight steps just for the machine to pour a glass of water at the end. Machines have some very specific uses. They can be used to multiply force, like with a pliers or a jack. They can be used to multiply speed, like with gears in a gear train. They can be used to extend a distance, like pulleys on shafts. Machines can also be used to change direction, again, just like pulleys on a shaft. In this unit, we are going to focus specifically on simple machines. A simple machine is any one of six mechanical devices in which an applied force results in useful work. The six simple machines are the lever, wheel and axle, pulley, inclined plane, wedge, and screw. All other machines are combinations of these six simple machines. We are going to look at a brief description of the six simple machines. Then, each section of this unit will be devoted to looking more in-depth at these simple machines. Before we get into the basics of these six simple machines, let's look at a few more things that relate to all simple machines. Simple machines are the simplest mechanisms that use mechanical advantage to multiply force. These six simple machines were first defined by Renaissance scientists between 1300 and 1600 in Europe. However, simple machines have been around long before they were defined by Renaissance scientists. In the next video, we will look at a brief overview of the six different simple machines.